here's the compressor wheel. You see the housing where it's kissed the front part of the housing. That's what happens when a thrust bearing goes out. That is the weak link in a turbo. And it actually goes forward and touches the backside on the housing. And you'll hear it start making noise and your turbo is gone. And you can see the backside of the, the compressor wheel right there and what it does. So the standard 270 degree thrust bearing. Uh, most turbos come with it's got uh, you can see damage on the back side of this wheel or of the you can see it actually has eight into the back side of this uh, thrust bearing there, there's several problems number one there's only three pads on these and some people are putting more pads with with more uh, oil slots it helps a little but it's not the cure-all the 270 degrees is as big as you can go because you have to slide the the collar or the sleeve in like that. So this is a 360 thrust bearing that we put in every turbo we have. It has oil ramps built in. I don't know if you can see right uh, this portion right here. From here to here is an oil ramp. It's actually machined at a slight angle and this uh, this collar is two, this has a two-piece collar and so it sits in here like this does accomplishes exactly the same thing the difference is this thrust bearing will hold uh, boost pressures of over 65 70 psi in that realm where this other one this thrust bearing will only hold boost pressures to about 30 30 to 35 psi in that realm it starts getting beyond its capability to keep a sheet of oil between the thrust bit between the bearing and the and the part rotating in it and so what you run into is uh, a weak link in a turbo so we're going to put this in and uh, to replace the the 270 degree thrust bearing it is also made out of uh, a high carbon steel that's been hardened and so it's uh, it's just a lot more durable